G'day everyone, welcome to the Open Mills channel. And this is the channel where you get to see what I get up to with Opal and Opal related things from mining to, yeah, buying parcels, cutting, carving, uh, some doublets and triplets here and there, some inlay, uh, treating matrix, and all different sorts of things. Setting silver and uh, so on. So here's a bit of a long awaited video for me anyway. Uh, <laughs> gonna start doing some resin treating for the concrete matrix, which is a very porous matrix. Let's zoom in a bit more. And so it's very granulated and does have little gaps here and there. And it won't take such a crash hot polish. I've got some that I've given a great polish and I'm going to see how it turns out as to whether I need to um, resin treat it or if I can leave some of it natural. Some of it will take a bit better polish than other bits. It depends on what the makeup of each chunk of con no, rainbow matrix <laughs> is comprised of. So this one's just a bit of a test one, had a bit of a rough cut. I didn't really flush it up too, back, uh, too well uh, at the back. And uh, it does sit flat from, yeah, anyway, if I decide to set it, it'd be a nice pendant, probably a closed back though. But, so this is the test piece. I'm gonna start with the back. And I finally got the Starbond thin. Uh, I've got a couple of bottles of this and we're gonna try and see how well I can go. I'm gonna have to do a few layers of this from what I understand. It won't just all happen in one hit because it's very, very thin stuff. It's got a, uh, was it a 0 0.002 micron or something? If anyone understands what that is. It's very, very thin stuff. It gets into the most tiniest of pores. So I expect the first um, coat to just soak right in and still leave it sort of rough looking. But the more I add the layers on and build it up, and then from what I've told, been told, I can actually go back and polish this up. Sort of a bit like I did with the super glue. And it can get a polish, but hopefully without all the missed bits. Anyway, uh, we'll do a better job with this one. So again, I'm gonna use this little thing. So I'll just line the pins in there, sort of tidy them up a bit at the tips and get the super glue off but that's just going to be resting there while it dries but i'll start with the back and i'll just get the back of coating and let that dry out before i do the top and uh then that will be coat one we'll do the second coat as we go so i'm very keen to see how this stuff actually um reacts as far as giving it the wet look the polished look the look we're after and uh, yeah, I'd be very interested to see how it's all going to turn out pull it off there we go so we've got some of these for a bit easier control of the um, distribution I think that's to prick these open. Maybe I'll just cut that. Yeah, no. So, get one of these, and they're supposed to just sit on over that. I think first, some scissors. And we'll just give it a quick snip. So I'm just gonna use the camera light to see where the hole starts. Just 
look over there. Voila. So I'll just actually should read out the directions for everyone on this, I suppose. Uh, unscrew the cap. Uh, screw on the long nozzle. Take this off. Create an incision at the tip. Done that. So optimal, optimal bonding is applying one drop per square inch. It's, and that's advised. Excess amounts may delay curing time of the adhesive and compatible materials, wood, metal, rubber, leather, ceramic, stone, and most plastics. So we just want this to go on and soak in. And so it says use sparingly. That application I think is more for the gluing side as this can also be a very, um, oh, it's an instant adhesive. So it has more than one use. Nonetheless, we're gonna use it for this. We'll put that there. And the stone's totally been dried out for a, a few days. All right. Peel the lid off. Screw that on like that. And See how this goes. I'm zoom in a bit. Put it that way.
Alright, so given this time to dry, it seems pretty dry. It's very uh, non sticky at all. A couple of missed spots, I'll get to them after. Give it another coat. I'm going to start with the top. This time I'll put it up on the stand. sitting out here in the sun and uh, gave it a bit of a, a spot here and a spot there coating where there's some dry patches that opened up so just keep me updated on that but that's still the first coat so we'll see how that goes can get a shot of that yeah. it's a nice colour in that piece it's a nice little test piece but yeah Seems to be absorbing quite well, so there's another dry spot, right, um, right there. I'm going to leave that one alone, because it's a secondary dry spot. I've already done that spot and it's dried again, so maybe it's just soaking in. So I'll let it do its thing, and might then try and give it a bit of a rub and polish and see what happens and if there's any pores that still need filling we'll give it another coat we'll see how it goes all right here we are next day it's had plenty of time to cure overnight and no matter how many times it dried out i kept filling it but it kept absorbing it in these patches but oh, the rest of this is built up on top of which needs to now be brought back to the surface and hopefully it's filled a lot of the pores it's going to need probably a second coat but i'm going to clean it off and see what it looks like as this so i'm going to go back to the black pad on the uh, gem master and see what it comes up like because uh this one did look as you can see there's still a bit left um as badly as this looks but that's kind of what's it's needed a bit of a build up. But we'll see if it fills any of the holes in too. Okay, so on the black pad, just gonna start around the edges and see what happens to it.
Okay, so I can see this layer's on pretty thick. And I'm gonna have to take it back a bit better with, uh, without this. So we're gonna try this very gently. Remove it back. Okay, so we've rubbed it back to bare. It does seem to have filled it in a bit. Which is good. So I'm gonna let that dry out thoroughly. And then we're gonna give it another coat. Just gonna put this out in the sun. Okay, so it's nicely dried off. Still retained a bit of the, uh, I know some of it's actually soaked right into the pores because it's actually got a little bit more colour than it did have dry to start with. So, let's see my handy dandy bit of nails. Now I'm going to start from the middle again. That's how I'll leave it sit. Got some bubbles coming out of it, which I'll have to just top it up as I go. Keep building the layers up now. And this is why I wish I had a vacuum chamber. I'd be sucking that air out. I'd be sucking in the uh, star bond. So here's the results of the second coat. And I just went and polished it up through the pads on the wheel. So it's a little bit rough still around the edges. Oops. And it still does have a bit of pitting. It's like it wanted to follow the contour. Some of it's filled in here and there. Like that there. It's filled in over the top. But yeah. I'm not sure if I took it back down a little bit too far or what I've done, but it has come up with half decent polish anyway. Um, I think I might go give it another treat, but this time I'm going to go with a vacuum chamber. So we're going to order one of those and get back to this piece, plus a bunch of others I'll show you in a minute that have been in for treatment. Um, some for a second time, some for their first, but yeah, we'll go through something to have a look at. But yeah, it's quite a decent polish, except for those pores, or apparent pores. I'm not sure if they're just dark spots or pores. Some of them are pores, and some of them are polished over. But anyway, it doesn't look as dark as it does Get some white background. There we go. Oh, and some light. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So 
but yeah, the colors are a lot more sparkly than person. Again, camera and matrix isn't best of friends, but it's not too bad. Showing off a lot of the flashes and the sparkles. Zoom in a bit too far. So yeah. Definitely need a vac chamber and that'll be the next progression in learning how to resin treat. For me anyway. I really wanted those to have filled in a bit better than they have. But they kind of haven't. And it doesn't really dip down so it has filled in a bit. Just needs a bit more. And I only did two coats so... so it could probably come off a bit. So um... It could probably do with a third coat as well. But I'm going to try and get one of these videos out just to show you. And that's what I've come up with so far. So I'll put this video out after I show you what's coming next. And um, get on with it. Interesting pattern on that one. A line of stripes markings and it's all pin fire and a big flash right in the center anyway i'm playing <laughs> so here's the beginning of my favorite time of the treatment where i get to see what it's like so we're just going to turn that off and let that cool down and then we'll take that inside jar out and put it into the bicarb soda and get our first look. All right, so first and foremost, safety gear. The gloves on. Safety glasses on. So we're just gonna take this out. It's cooled down slightly. Carefully remove it. And let it drain. I'll speed this bit up. Take it over here. And slowly. Introduce the bike up. For a bit. See the colour starting to go out. Really keen to see how the one I polished up goes. At the bottom there. The big one. So yeah, we'll let this uh, do its thing for a bit come back just tip them out Okay, so they're all cleaned up. Stop bubbling away. Let's go through these two first. I love these two. I think they turned out fantastic. Just a quick wipe. 
Great set of earrings there. So yeah, <laughs> those two and all the rest of Rainbow Matrix. <laughs> so here's the two I polished. And these don't have the resin yet. I think I still will put it on. I think it might get a nicer finish with it more polished up to start with. Oh, it's got less work to do, but it's kind of comparative on the kind of finish. Here's the other one. So, yeah, it's definitely better polished with it. Yeah, and this one's gonna have another coat anyway. And uh, yeah, that's those two are polished. The rest of these are unpolished. So I think they did a bit better on the second treat. A little bit darker. Especially this one. Gorgeous flash. And this one. is one of my favourites. <laughs> I like the colours and that pattern. In person it's so much more sparkly. Uh, sharper and intenser colour. And these were the different sliced ones. Uh, these ones I did this way as in these ones were cut that way up and these ones are from the side I think they came up a lot better nice little ring stones maybe even pendants This one. So these are going to get coated uh, along with these, and uh, I'll do that behind the scenes and show them in another video when they're done. But I'm hoping to get a good result like that. I'll put the contrasting photos of this up from the before and the after. So you can definitely tell the difference. Hopefully get a better result with this. Should get a bit more of a, that look to it. Which I think is much better. So that's what we'll go with. It's just got colour all through it. Massive nice pendant stone. So I'll be setting some of this as well in upcoming videos. We're going to spend a day silversmithing. I will be spending a few days, but I might jump on for a live. Um, got to do the subscriber parcel next. But yeah, that's what we're up to with this one. That's the first treatment of resin treatment, Starbond. And... Uh, I'll keep you up to date on how these fill out. See if I can get them filled up a bit better. And when we get a vacuum chamber, ha 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 ha, that's when the fun will begin. Get an even better result. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.